There he is. Right around that pole. It's a little guy. A little Nico rig fish. You know, one thing I love about throwing this Nico rig, you can throw it on a variety of baits for sure. You know, this is a Strike King shimmy stick, but it just flat out gets bit, you know, especially this time of the year, pre-spawn. It is something, you know, as a tournament angler, I'm always gonna have tied on. I'm always gonna have it on the deck and rely on it when the fishing gets really tough and I need that extra bite or two throughout the day. What I look for, you know, when I'm throwing this Nico rig is, is a, a variety of things. But today, these fish are all, they're pre-spawning, they're getting ready to spawn, and they're using these docks to pre-spawn on, you know? And one thing I like is the lightest weight in that worm possible. That's what I'm gonna use. And so I wanna pitch it up there, cast it up there to those docks, fish it really slow. And a lot of these fish are actually gonna eat the bait on the fall. But if not, you know, I'm gonna keep it on the bottom, give it a little bit of shake, you know, really try to make that bait come to life, you know, have it look really good, very natural. But like I said, a lot of fish are gonna bite it on the fall and the lighter weight that you can get away with, the lightest weight you can get away with, typically is gonna get you a lot more bites. You know, it's gonna snag up less and get you a lot more bites. So it's really a win-win. But you know, it's there's really no wrong place to throw it, but I usually start, you know, outside on some docks like we are right now and then I'll work my way back up into the shallower water. But, you know, this thing's gonna really excel and have that natural, you know, finesse presentation that fish haven't really seen a whole lot of, and that's what's gonna help you generate a lot of bites. There he is. Feels like a decent one. Yeah. Nice little pre-spawn largemouth. Look how fat that thing is. You know, one thing when I'm throwing the Nika rig that I personally like to do is always run some kind of an O-ring. You know, this is just a little generic clear O-ring, but you know, you can see it's gonna slide up the line. And when it slides up the line, it's really gonna get out of the way of the fish. You know, and I, I feel like the, uh, the hookup ratio goes really high, you know? I mean, you're, you're gonna hook a lot more of these fish where if the bait's gonna be pegged and stationary, to the hook, you're gonna lose a lot of those fish. So that's something I always do. I feel like it's really important. Definitely gonna help you uh, save some money on some baits and get some more fish in the boat. You know, so one thing for me that's really important uh, when you're throwing this Nico rig is the setup. You know, the right rod, the right reel, that's gonna be crucial to landing and hooking some of these fish. And you know what I like? I like a Daiwa Tattoo Elite rod. This rod's a seven foot one inch drop shot rod. It was actually designed by Brent Ayler. You know, and it's, it's, it's perfect for skipping this bait for sensitivity wise, you know, it's gonna have the AGS guide, so it's extremely sensitive, but it has a lot of power too. And, and one thing you want when you're throwing a wacky rig is a really soft tip, but a, a very parabolic rod. You know, you want some backbone on that rod. So when you get that bite, you can load into those fish and you want that soft tip to really help you make that accurate cast. And when the fish bite the bait, you don't want them to feel the weight of the rod. So, you know, that's really important to me. And as far as a reel goes, I like two different reels. Uh, this is the new Daiwa Exist, a 3000 size, absolutely the flagship reel from Daiwa. Uh, very smooth, you know, it's, it's uh, got an amazing drag. But I also like the Daiwa Tatula LT. You know, it's a light and tough reel just like this here. Very affordable, really good drag. And the new Daiwa spinning reels, they have a high gear ratio. So this is a 6.3 gear ratio or 6.2. When you make that long cast, you get that bite. You're gonna pick up a lot of line really quick. And uh, that is really important when you're, when you're trying to catch up to those fish. And throughout the course of the day, you're gonna hook and land a couple more of those bites. I always go with a, uh, a braided line, you know, uh, maybe a 10 pound braided line to a fluorocarbon leader. That is gonna be very crucial for me, you know, getting the distance out of that bait, getting the sensitivity. And then when you go down to a, a fluorocarbon leader, you know, the fish aren't gonna see the braid and you're gonna get some of those bites. And it's just a deadly way to put fish in the boat, this little Nico rig. You know, it's something I've been doing for years really enjoy fishing it and i catch a lot of fish with some really big ones as well <laughs> little fish you know it's so important when you're throwing this light line 
to have a good drag, you know, and these Daiwa reels just exist, absolutely phenomenal. To definitely land some of these fish, that drag is a big player. And you know, with the Nico rig, you really don't need to set the hook. You know, you can kind of see, I just kind of load into them and that's kind of always been the deal for me, you know, when I'm throwing the Nico rig. And, and one thing that I love, this is a new hook from owner. This is the uh, Sniper Furness Nico rig hook, you know, and it's, a, it's just a perfect hook. It's got the right bend. It's a little bit longer of a shank, but what that does is you don't miss fish pretty much. I mean, the, the shank will, will always hook them in the roof and the mouth. And I find, that when I'm throwing this hook, especially with the Nico rig, my hookup ratio goes through the roof. I land a lot more fish, hook them, and at the end of the day, I'm a lot happier.